Hmm. Okay, now I'm ready. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please click that subscribe button down below. I would love for you to join um, my channel's family. I have a lot of really amazing followers out there and I've been receiving so many messages over the last couple of days since I posted the I'm back video. I'll be putting a link to that down below for anyone that hasn't seen it. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that's recently subscribed. I've gotten a few more subscribers and a couple more messages and um, it's just really nice to know that there's people out there that are jail interested and that want to join the fam. So yeah, thanks so much for joining. Right, we're just gonna jump straight into this. So where have I been? For the last couple of days I have been pretty busy. I've been getting some more college work done. Um, I was away at a open day festival that I'm going to be talking about in this video because I did some recording there and I found it really interesting. The candle that I'm currently burning right now is the Egyptian musk candle and it's by Yankee. It's making my room smell amazing and that actually helps because I've been decorating and painting it and it's still not finished. My bed is still on the floor. My wardrobes are bare and you can see them. I'm hoping to get some kind of curtain to, you know, put over the top just so that I can hide it because there's no doors on them. And everything looks messy, but I have cleaned it out, I promise. So the smell of the candles helping get rid of the smell of the gloss. I also have a brand new, my first ever plant, and his name is Bruce the Spruce Willis. And this is a real um, plant, this is a tree that I was given at the Open Day Festival. Um, but yeah, I was given, we were all given trees in these little um, gift bags. I'm gonna just put it in this little plant pot and I just keep an eye on it before I'm ready to set it out into the big wide world. <laughs> I actually have a pen, hold on, where is it? So that's the pen there um, that the company, um, that's what it looks like. And these pens are amazing by the way, like they write so nice, oh, they write so good. I should also point out that this video is not in any way, shape or form sponsored by the company Edgar. It's not, I'm not being paid to promote this. I'm not being, I've not been emailed, I've not been called, I've not been contacted in any way, shape or form to promote this business. I'm just talking to you guys about it and you never know, maybe you want some new floors, maybe you want some new window frames or something um, and maybe you want to go there. I don't know, but I swear to God I'm not promoting this. <laughs> I think it's just been out there now. I'm not promoting Edgar in any way. So over the weekend, my parents were, actually a couple of months ago, my parents were called to do an event. My parents have a pop-up coffee cart called the Wee Coffee Cart that they started back up in 2015. And um, we were called by a company called Egger. And Egger are a company that produce wood-based panel products such as floating, building products, furniture, and interior designing. And um, basically they were having an open day so that they could attract new customers and so that they could let pop-up businesses like my parents and a couple of other pop-up businesses that I'll talk about briefly in a couple of minutes, could you know show off to the public, let the public know that yes, we are here, this is our company, here's a taster of what we sell, here's where you can find us, we can travel to this location, stuff like that. And I worked with my parents obviously at the coffee station, so at the coffee station it was myself, my mom, my dad and my nana, who is turning 70 in two days. Whew, that's crazy. My nana is the biggest ball of fun ever and she's just she's got so much drive and she's got so much energy about her for someone that age it absolutely inspires me every single day so we did run into a few problems when we arrived at the event now as you can see the space was enormous we had so much space but what they had done was they had taken like they had taken like a quarter of the floor and this is where we were and the rest of it was obviously like all their machinery and you know where the workers were so while we were setting up we realized that they had set the coffee cart up at the front sort of door where they bring in all the products and it was freezing it was freezing cold we also noticed another problem they had put a sand pit right next to the coffee cart and that was to attract the children and that was to give the children something to do and to go and play and um, maybe while their parents were talking to you know some business staff or some of like the people that were just kicking around some of their friends and that was a big issue for us because we were selling roasting hot coffee 
and there were children, there was going to be children running around right next to us. We didn't know how we were gonna solve the problem. We didn't know what we were gonna do. We were like, we can't tell them to move it because it's made of wood and there's sand in it and it can't be shifted. It's not on wheels, it's like on the floor. So we were like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? Thankfully though, we were able to bottle two tables and we were able to sort of bombard ourselves in this little space um, so that children wouldn't like come near us. So it actually worked out. The kids went and played in the sand pit and they were happy. I ended up playing in the sand pit a little bit too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Some of the other pop-up businesses that they had there were a German, they had a German company that were supplying two different types of food. So they had bratwurst, I think that's how it says, hot dogs um, with spiced onions, their own make of special curry sauce. And then right next to them they had um, apple strudel, which was delicious. There was also an ice cream vendor, which I was so excited about because I love ice cream and their flavors were absolutely amazing. So while I was walking around getting these shots, I realized that their centerpieces on their tables looked really beautiful. So I wanted to get some pictures of them and then I realized that they were actually real. They had about 150 of these centerpieces out all around the entire event and they had thistles, roses, baby's breath, and it was all real flowers. And I thought, oh my gosh, like this must have, cost so much money to make but then I realized you know Eggers a big company like they're gonna have a lot of money so they could just throw money at whatever and they had them sitting on these little um it was like when you get a log and you like cut like a bit off the end it was like that and they had the flowers sitting on top of those and I thought this looks so pretty this looks so nice and um I really wanted one but they were rented from the company and they weren't able to be purchased so that is something that I want from Adam. I want something to put my um, computer on top of and that was the perfect size and we couldn't take it so I was really upset about that but it's okay I'll order one off eBay or something. I mean even the toilets were amazing. The the facilities, I've been to festivals and the toilets are shocking. They're just little portal and people could wobble wobble them and you could you could fall out, you could end up in someone's something. But these ones, I mean look, they were absolutely beautiful. I feel like I was in a hotel. They had a television, they had sinks made of real porcelain and the inside of the toilet water was blue and it smelled amazing and I, it was warmer in there than it was in the actual function room. So I was like, I'm just gonna stay in here for the rest of the day because it was so much nicer. After our adventures in the loo, Nana and I decided to go on the land train that Edgar had provided and there's my dad giving us a wave as you can see. Hi dad! Bye dad! He had to stay and make coffees. Oh my Nana looks like such a queen in that truck. Um, because we'd seen a few people in orange high-vis jackets going on this land train and then leaving the building and we don't know where they were going and we were like, let's, well, we asked someone to see what we can do, like I want to get a shot on this. So my mum and dad had to stay with a coffee cart, but Nana and I went and it took us on a tour of the entire building, which we thought, oh my God, this is great. Let's go have a little wander. I just dropped my hair clip, ignore that. So the tour on the land train lasted about 40 minutes and they took us, the first place that they took us into was, they had explained to us that they had recently got funding through and they used all that money to set up an apprentice workshop. So when they get apprentices in, um, best way I can describe it because I didn't actually get any footage of that was basically like if you were in techie, um, that's like technological studies for those that aren't Scottish on my subscriptions, um, is basically like you know where you can like build things and weld stuff and um, it looked, I felt like I was back in school but it was so clean and it had been up and running for only a couple of months and the apprentices apparently loved it and it just it seemed like such a good idea it seemed like wow this is like you're going into like a real sort of place of work like this is where you can learn and you know that sounds good the next place that they took us on the land train was they took us to this big outdoor bit where you could see lots of tubes and um lots of like cylinders and you wondered what was inside them and it was actually all these bits of wood and what this big bit of machinery did was it separated all the glass and it separated all the all the wood that um had been damaged by water or um you know bits of plastic so it just shows you like how they do everything and they recycle pretty much everything that they use and they put it into different products and I thought that was good that they're zero waste I actually really like that about them as well 
Um, we also got to see the produce room. We also got to see where they keep an eye on the machines. They had a room full of like 17 different computer screens and it showed you things I couldn't understand until the guy explained it to me. And, um, our tour guide and he basically explained like this is telling you about this machine in this section of the building and I mean I find it fascinating now that I'm that I'm thinking back on it and I'm thinking yeah that was actually kind of like at least I know a bit more about it now but my nana loved the <laughs> entire tour she was like oh my god this is the best tour ever this is fantastic I want to come back every day after a while we decided it was time to try some of the food and here you can see three of the different ice creams that they had. Um, the rainbow looking, um, raspberry looking one actually, um, was called McCallum's Crunch and it had popping candy in it, which I loved. The chocolatey looking one was Nutella, which I'm not even kidding. I don't know how they did it. It just tasted, it was like frozen Nutella. I don't even think it was ice cream. I genuinely think it was actually frozen Nutella. They also had vanilla, they had mint, they had um, mango, which I didn't get to try, but a lot of people said it was good. And I also tried coconut cream, which was my favourite, and I wish I'd gotten more, but by the time I wanted to go back, they were packing up, so <laughs> I missed out. But their ice cream place is in air, so I'm definitely going to take a trip there, and I'm going to go and get some, because it was really good. But that is it for this video. I'm still holding my lipstick. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know if you found this interesting. I found it interesting and I wanted to just give you guys like another video to watch and a little update. Um, the next video that I'm gonna be doing is probably going to be on Charlotte's Fairy Tale events, which is my business, because I've had quite a few subscribers message me and ask me, would like to know a bit more about your business and I'm based in Glasgow and I'd like to you know you seem like a nice person but if you could talk to me a little bit more about your business and stuff so that's the next video that's going to be coming up that should be out by next week for sure when I have time and um when I've got you know everything kind of in order because I need to sort of figure out what I'm going to talk about and how I'm going to talk about it so thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe to my channel the link is down below it's not going to hurt you to subscribe and it wouldn't you know be a bad thing for me either so please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or any video requests um please leave a comment down below and i will see you guys in the next one Mwah. thanks for watching bye